I took Lucy under my wing quite a few years ago, um, it was really me that took her from just being a nail artiste to a nail technician. In fact, I really moved the industry along a lot like that. That, that was really due to me. She's a very, very nice girl. She's very nice with the customers. I'd have to say she's, uh, she's not that good at sculptures, but, you know, not everybody has to be. That can be an area for some of your older technicians like me. They've been around for a while. I remember when she, she first told me she was going to see a psychic with that friend of hers who's the actress in the whole situation, and I said, is this what you're really looking into for the future? I can tell you your future. Knuckle down, buckle down, learn your sculptures, get your thumbs sorted, and I'm telling you, you could have a future. But no, everyone's just sparkled by the little sort of speck of fame. That's what they all want these days. And I can only imagine what the psychic had to say to her was pull yourself together and get yourself a proper industry. That's why she should have stayed with me. What a lovely person you are. No wonder you're unhappy with all that negativity around you. You recently suffered a loss. No. You haven't realised your full potential yet. There's a transition about to take place. You're going to begin a new chapter in your life. What photos have you brought me? It's my parents. They've been gone for some time, haven't they? Nine years. They're happy where they are. They'll be worried about you. Your father regrets not showing you how much he loved you. Kevin, my boyfriend, does he really love me? Not the way you deserve to be loved. You know that. And he's not your soulmate. He's my soulmate. Mm, you're going to meet him very soon. Your only chance this lifetime. Will I ever be famous? Your face is going to be seen by a lot of people. There's a career change, too. You have all the strength you need to make it happen. I'm not saying they didn't have their rough patches. I mean, she and Kevin had a very nice relationship, forward slash volatile relationship. But not everything can run smoothly these days. I'm not just saying that because he's my nephew, because I know he had his temper. Yes, they both came to see me. I don't advertise, so I don't quite know how they found me. I think a lot of people come to me or seek my sort of advice when they want to solve problems, looking for hope. I said to her, he's got a soul. He is a mate. Lucy was in a bad way when she came. You know, she lacked confidence. And I sensed a, a great loss, which I read to be in the past. She was here when she received the news that day. She was. And she just ran right out of the salon is what she did to the point where I had to finish her client that day. Now, it is my business, that's fine. I mean, I know it was her friend, but people have car accidents all the time. <laughs> well, yes, I guess one could say it was tragic. It really was. I'd never met the deceased, of course, uh, but I... I felt like I knew her. I've been accused of not warning the girl about the accident. I don't see everything. I pass on information, good and bad. All I know is the girl 
didn't have a future. Apparently the psychic said that she had no future. If you, if you believe in all of that, I, you know. And when it all happened, of course, I gave Lucy the afternoon off. I did. I closed the salon at personal expense to me. That's by the by, it is. And it's pretty much when I lost her to Fern's mob. Interesting. the next day she calls me, midday, the next day. And she gives some excuse and then poof, gone, that's it. That's all I hear from her. I don't hear from her again. Yes, yeah, so... Sue. What's going on? Do you need a flat, mate? She just died. I've got nowhere else to go. Do you know where you are? No. A few days. Okay? Yeah. It's very interesting. I went up there one night and they drugged me. They did. You know, it was a nice night, everything was going fine. Next thing, I don't remember anything. I don't even remember how I got home. I don't. And I'm not here to say that I'm homeophobic, because I'm not. I've been a big supporter of the gays. I have. And I'll tell you this much, I own nearly every George Michael album I do. Certainly, well, prior to that whole toilet incident, I don't. The woman does not shut up. She bores everybody, the borer, the borer. She bores everybody with all of her bullshit. She just craps on and on and on. She's got this very narrow way of looking at the world. I guess, you know, I, I guess ultimately, you know, like anyone, she's got a good heart, but She's out for herself. Well, I myself am a champion of champions. It's a Nail Excellence Award show that has been going for many years, and I must say, it is the pinnacle of a nail technician's career. It really is. You know you've made it. You have to be invited to attend, and I tell you what, I lobbied for months to get Lucy. I mean, you know how many months I lobbied. I lobbied for months to get Lucy invited. Oh, it just, it makes me so mad. I'm sorry, I've, I've just cut that there. Didn't have to pay. Make a lot of money. Because <laughs> you're a star. <laughs> I thought about you after your audition. Really? <laughs> what? It's people. People can see. Oh, another car. No. Are you gonna want to see me again after this? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, <laughs> my
I would be the first to admit that he's very handsome, he's very charming, he's famous, but he didn't have to be an idiot to see that he just wasn't that interested in her. I just think she projected all of her beauty and all of her pizzazz onto Marcus and, you know, he became the, the catalyst for change in her life. She threw a drink at him. Marcus Riley threw the drink right on him. I got her outside and I said to her, ha, I think you'll find you lost that argument by swearing. I so would never have worn that jacket with those pants. Fern, what are you doing sitting outside his place? You have become so obsessed by him. He's the one. You remind him of me, and you know that. Stop trying to be me. Just be you. Inaugural fingernails are what it's all about. Do you know what I mean? It's about award winners. I mean, sure, this was 88, and my, a lot of people might say that was a long time ago. The industry is changing. But I tell you what, it's not changing into chinky Charlie Grail Grand. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not about Charlie Chan coming in and going, I can do nails too. Have you seen their nails? Have you seen them? Have you been in a Chinese shop to see their nails? People often come to me and seek advice and make decisions based on the information I give them. Sometimes it becomes an obsession, like with Lucy. I was already down at the International Beauty Expo when I get the call from prison. So I go down there and I bail her out, and I said, I'll bail you out on one condition, and that is you compete. Lucy came back to me after all that trouble. She was confused, she was angry, and, you know, she almost went back to a situation that she'd managed to escape. And the last I heard of her, she'd gone back to her old life and, uh, you know, she pretty promptly realised that that wasn't where she should be. She won, you know. And I'll tell you what, as soon as they found out that she wasn't really working at the host salon, well, it was only a matter of time then before the letter of disqualification came through. Fate is in the cards. Destiny is how you play them. It's your creation. See, life is choice. I only hope for her sake she made the right one.